Hey guys and welcome to a new video. It's been a while since I did a Scouts Pouch video so I thought it was about time to carry on with the series and today we are going to be talking about the Winger. A very interesting weapon and I can't wait to jump into it. So the Winger is a community created secondary weapon for the Scout. It was created by somebody called Bungo who has made loads of TF2 items that have made it into the game already which is really cool. First time I've ever actually looked into who's created a weapon, but I was quite surprised and, you know, kind of amazed by it. The Winger is described on the wiki as a bluish pistol with a black inset tree foil, don't know if I said that right, on its grip with a small pair of yellow wings on the slide over magazine. I don't know a lot about guns, so all of this probably sounds very, very stupid coming from me, but there you go. You can get the winger in unique, strange collectors and decorated qualities, so all of the war paints you have lying around your inventory can be used on this gun if you feel like you want to. Obviously, you can receive your unique winger through drops or crafts, you can get strangers from crate 90, then you have to use a chemistry set to get the collectors. Or, I mean, if you don't want to go through all of that effort, I definitely recommend using my sponsor, STN Trading, by using my affiliate link, tf2.trading, and it saves you all of the hassle of finding the right crate, or even buying the collector's kit and filling that up. It'll also be much cheaper getting it from STN than it would be buying keys or the kit to unbox them or craft your own. So, save your money. Use that tf2.trading. Okay, so now that we've covered how to get this weapon, let's talk about its stats. So the winger is a pistol, but we knew that already. It has five bullets loaded into its clip with an extra 36 in reserve, which gives you quite a lot of ammo if you're careful with it, especially since you only have five bullets in a clip. And trust me, you use all five very, very quickly, so definitely keep an eye on your ammo. The winger's base damage is 17 with a maximum ramp up of 150% for 26 damage a shot at point blank range and a range of 10 to 12 with maximum fall off at long range. So these damage numbers are slightly higher than the pistols, however with the winger you have less than a half of the pistol's bullets in one clip, so your damage output is either going to be around the same if you hit everything or probably a little bit less because pistol accuracy in this game isn't amazing. So far on paper, the winger looks quite good. It's got more damage than the pistol, but less bullets. So you're thinking that's not a bad trade-off. Just, just wait. Okay, so now that we have talked about the stats of the weapon, I want to talk about the best ways to use this gun. And something I haven't mentioned about the winger yet is that when you have it in your hands, you get a 25% increase to your jump height, meaning you could jump over some rocks or some boxes you might not have been able to do before to get a different angle on a fight and surprise the enemies, which is how this gun should be used more as a tool rather than an actual weapon. I found that the damage output of the winger was really, really underwhelming compared to literally any other pistol. And since you're only firing five shots, you are reloading for longer than you spend firing it. Or at least it feels that way while using this gun. I really struggled to use this as a weapon without getting the enemy down to 20 health with the scattergun, which if you were insistent on trying to get kills with this gun, that would be the way to do it. Or you'd steal your teammates kills by jumping in at the end, spraying five bullets at an enemy and hoping they die. You're not meant to start fights and engage in fights with this gun out. This gun should purely be used to finish off enemies that are low and pretty much nothing else. The winger is best at point blank range and that is fine, but again, so is the scattergun, which is far more reliable, you've got more shots than the winger, and you're more powerful in general, so I'm not sure why you use the winger to deal damage in that situation, literally any other primary weapon the scout has is built for point blank range fighting, so the pistol at this point is just irrelevant. The movement, don't get me wrong, it feels great with this gun and you do feel like you've got a decent increase and you can make some jumps that you couldn't get before. The rest of this gun, however, isn't so great and I feel like that's fine as long as you're not focused on dealing the most damage possible and are fine using your scattergun for every other fight. But me trying to get gameplay for this video, it proved very difficult to actually use the winger in a lot of situations and come off better off for it. So I used this gun for around two hours on the stream and I have to say I am not the biggest fan of it. For the first time in this series, I think I'm actually saying I don't like a weapon for the scout. That's kind of crazy that we've got this far without me finding a weapon I don't like. 
I do want to say that I do like the jump height increase on this gun. It makes me feel like I'm playing MBM or something in a regular game, which is quite cool. And being able to get on top of stuff in fights that I wouldn't be able to reach otherwise is quite useful, and I have been using that quite a lot, which is awesome. I feel like all the jumping stuff is what the winger is built for, not really built for shooting people with. If I was trying to do that, I would probably pick a different pistol, or I'd try and use the Mad Milk instead, because I know that will help keep me alive. Maybe that's just me, maybe I need to spend more time using the winger to fully get it, I, I don't know, but we'll have to see. I want to hear what you guys think of the winger in the comments, so let me know. Does it suck? Is it great and I just don't know? Tell me, I, I want to hear what you think. So anyway guys, that is going to do it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure that you hit the like button on this video. It lets me know that you guys want to see more. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe as well for more content from me. There's a load of great stuff coming soon and I can promise you guys that. And I am very excited for it and you should be too. So definitely subscribe, you don't want to miss it. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.